it's Penny here and today we're going to be putting together my TBR for September. This is going to be a mashup kind of TBR because I am going to use my TBR machine website that I made that generates random reading prompts, pick my books, but also in September Becca is doing a Becca's Bookopoly readathon for the whole of the month. So for that she's created a Bookopoly board that we can use to pick some prompts and how I'm going to try and do it is I'm going to do three rounds and for each round I'm going to pick a prompt off Bookopoly and I'm also going to pick a prompt off the TBR machine. And if I can somehow magically come up with a book that meets both prompts then I'll just add that one book onto my TBR. But if I can't do that then I'll have to pick a book for each prompt and then I'll end up with two books per round. So, so we're going to have three to six books on this TBR unless Bookopoly rolls a double, in which case we'll do another round of both the Bookopoly and the TBR machine. So it could get dangerous. <laughs> I do also have a couple of books from the library. So I've got Oathbringer, third book in the Stormlight Archive by Brandon Sanderson. I have already started it just, but um, I'm going to need to finish it in September as well because I'm just not going to finish this before September. And I think the amount I have left will still be much more than a normal size book. So there's that. Also I have this one, A Phoenix First Must Burn, which is a short story anthology edited by Patrice Caldwell. I believe it's a whole bunch of stories about the black experience except written as fantasy and science fiction novels. I didn't take notes so I don't actually remember why I requested this from the library. Like I don't remember what exactly it was that made me think oh that's a book for me given that it's a YA short story anthology which normally means there would have to have been something that I thought oh I'm gonna really love that. Of course getting some perspective of the black experience is something that's useful like why did I pick this book specifically? I don't know but I've got it from the library. My loan has been extended because we're in lockdown so I should have plenty of time to read it so we're gonna read it but I'll have to try and fit it into one of the prompts as well as Oathbringer. Okay so that's enough. Let's first pick our TBR machine prompt. Okay so we've got read a book with green on the cover. Hopefully that would be easy to match with another prompt. All right so let's see what prompt Bacopoli is going to give us. I've got Cactua here from Final Fantasy to be my little playing piece and I've got a couple of dice that I stole from random board games and you will also notice that I haven't bothered to make any chance cards or community chess cards mainly because I was lazy. If I happen to land on that I will get another TBR machine prompt to use for the Bookopoly board. It's all very convoluted, let's just roll and see what happens. Okay so five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, a translated work. Huh, a translated work. I know some that I would like to read, but I don't have any of them on my physical TBR. And I kind of think that my TBR machine book has to come from my physical TBR because that's the whole point of my TBR machine prompts is to get through my physical TBR because I've been trying to get down to TBR zero. The other problem is that I can't put hold on library books at the moment because I don't know when our libraries are going to reopen. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the Stone Sky for my green book. This is the third book in the Broken Earth trilogy which I've been really loving. It's all about this dystopian world where they regularly have these fifth seasons that sit of the first book where there's earthquakes and everything's kind of destroyed so that's really changed the way that society works as well there's these people that have these powers to manipulate the earth but they're treated mostly like slaves and in this book we're following some different characters who have this power as we kind of work our way to maybe the final fifth season. I've been wanting to fit this into my TBR for a while so I'm excited to read that one. Uh, then for a translated work I actually have a couple of options. So what I want to read is Tomi by Junji Ito but I looked and it's like a 700 page graphic novel and I'd have to request it from the library. Uh, there's a, a very short hold queue but I don't know when the libraries are going to reopen so it's probably not a very reliable option. So what I've also done is I've taken out the audiobook for The Wind Up Bird Chronicle by Haruki Murakami. I've been saying I would get to some Haruki Murakami for a while so it'd be good to 
actually do that. And all I really know about this one is that a man is looking for his wife's lost cat but then also realizes that his wife is missing and it's like a very strange story as all of Haruki Murakami's works are supposedly, I haven't read any but I want to, and this would be my chance. Okay, so now we'll move on to the second round. We'll start by picking a TBR machine prompt. Read a book by a New Zealand author. Hmm, that could be difficult if we're trying to pick off my uh, TBR shelves at the moment, but I might have an option. Let's do the Bookopoly prompt. We've got seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. An ebook or an audio book. <laughs> Oh, an ebook or an audiobook? Well, that's not going to help me with picking off my physical TBR, is it? Okay, so there are no books by New Zealand authors on my physical TBR, but I did just put an order for a book for um, this Maori authored book that I found because I've been looking for books by Maori authors and I found this publisher that does specifically Maori authored books and one looked interesting, so I've ordered it. But given the current situation, I really have no idea how long it might take to turn up. So I think what I might have to do is try and find an ebook or an audiobook for a New Zealand authored work. All right, so while I started looking, it started pouring down with rain, so apologies if you can hear that. But what I have found is the ebook for Into the Mist by Lee Murray. So I added this to my TBR recently, and I believe it's like some civilian being escorted into a military area in the South Island of New Zealand, and then they find some kind of strange demonic creatures. I could check the synopsis to check that I'm right, but I'm not going to. It's something like that. So that will count for both the TBR machine and Bookopoly. So on to the last round. Uh, we'll do another TBR machine prompt. Ooh, it's a bit harsh. Read a book with an ugly cover. Yeah, I got some of those. Uh, let's roll Bookopoly. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Nine. First in a series. Hmm. 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 Okay, so I'm looking for an ugly book that's the first book in a series, and I have one. This, in my opinion, is pretty ugly. This, like, army-ish symbol. Ugly. I mean, I kind of like, you probably can't even see them. There's all sorts of zeros and ones in the background. They're kind of cool, but the rest of it pretty ugly. I only picked this up because it's written by S.J. Kincaid who wrote the Diabolic Trilogy which I really love. The third book in that trilogy is coming out very soon which I'm excited for. Maybe it's out already. I need to try and track down that third book. But this one is about some 14 year old hacker who gets involved with the army. Honestly I only picked this book up because it was two dollars in the bargain bin. The whole series was in there so I have the whole trilogy. It is actually rated really highly on Goodreads, so um, for that reason I'm excited to read this trilogy. Hopefully I won't be disappointed. And honestly, I feel a little bit disappointed, ripped off, because after three rounds these are the only two physical books that I've picked. I do also have an audiobook and an ebook, and I will still need to read both of these. So it's actually this big. Uh, I will also be starting a new job in September so I shouldn't overload my TBR and it's possible my August TBR will spill over into September so this is probably sensible. We don't need to be ridiculous. Just because it's a TBR game doesn't mean it needs to be stressful. Just because it's a readathon doesn't mean it needs to be stressful. I do also just want to mention a couple of other audiobooks that I'll probably be picking up in September. So I've got Stormfront by Jim Butcher, which is the first book in the Dresden Files. I don't really know much about it except that Harry Dresden investigates some kind of paranormal mysteries and it's a really well-loved series so I thought I'd pick up the audiobook and see what I think of it. I also just now while I was looking for other ones um, I came across The Silence of Bones audiobook by June Her. So this is a book set in Korea and I think because only one are allowed to touch and like care for dead bodies this 
young girl ends up being allowed to help in a murder investigation. This is another one where I don't really remember the synopsis but I remember that I wanted to read it so we're gonna add that to the TBR. Also I think it's pretty likely that my audiobook hold of The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins will come through. This is the new Hunger Games book. I did actually have the physical copy out from the library but I just realized that I'm not so excited about it that I'm willing to read a big fat book uh, and that I'm more likely to get through it in audiobook and my audiobook is nearly ready so I'm just going to return the physical library version and too bad. Also hopefully in September I will get Shadow and Bone by Leah Bardugo which is the first book in the Grisha trilogy which is one of the 20 books I said I wanted to read in 2020 so I discovered that my library does now have the audiobook so I'm going to listen to that. So the Grisha verse I don't really know much about other than I think it's quite angsty and YA so I might not like it but it's like a Russian inspired fantasy where this girl discovers that she has these magical powers and has to learn how to use them. And I should also get The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern through on audiobook which is another book that I had on that list. So The Starless Sea is a very whimsical and weird book from all I could tell. A boy comes across a book that has the story of himself in it I think. I should also have quite a few non-fiction audiobooks coming through in the month of September. So I've got Bad Feminist by Roxanne Gay, which I know Kayla at Books and Lala was talking about the other day saying it was amazing. Uh, I've also got Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race by Rene Edo Lodge. So this is one I've seen lots of people say is really good for educating yourself around race issues. And on that topic I will also hopefully be getting How to Be Anti-Racist by Ibram X Kendi. It might not quite come through in September but probably uh, and that's another one that I've heard really good things about. So probably lots of audiobooks to listen to in September. Also actually a fairly decent amount of physical books to read plus an ebook on top of this. Oops. Plus some secret library project books on top of that as well. Anyway do let me know if you've read any of the books that I'm planning to read in September uh, and check back at the end of September when I'll do my wrap up and we can talk about how they went. Otherwise thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're doing well and if you're doing Bookopoly in September then best of luck to you. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.